Hi, Rochester in the Media. This is Frank Lopez from Submedia.tv, bringing you warm greetings from Athens, Greece, where I just screened my film, Ensev, and I am currently producing a report on the community assemblies that are happening here, um, basically a response to uh, government inability to take care of, the, take care of the, needs, the needs of the people, so people here are self-organizing to take care of very practical shit like uh, garbage pickup and and, uh, and things uh, that pertain to certain communities. Um, I am honored and sad at the same time. I'm honored that I was asked to, uh, to give you all a, a message and a, and a short talk, and I'm very sad uh, that I can't be there. Um, I'm going to tell you a short little story about how I came to uh, connect with the folks from Rochester in the Media, and it's a story that starts in 2001. Um, back then, I was living in Atlanta, Georgia, and after 9-11 happened, I was really freaked out by this um, intense calls to war by the Bush administration and I, and I noticed that there was uh, this small but very organized anti-war movement happening in the city and I was very surprised that the, the mainstream media was not uh, covering it and I found uh, the local in the media center and I have been a video producer for, for, for a long time already and I decided to just bring my skills to, to this group and cover the small but growing like anti-war movement. Um, uh, as I discovered that um, media could be used for um, uh, to basically highlight the voices of, of groups and people that are not giving any time in the mainstream media, I also realized that it wasn't just news, that this could be applied to all sorts of different media like music videos and narrative films, etc. And so um, after a couple of years of doing in the media stuff, I started making short films. I made a couple of short films um, that uh, promoted anarchist ideas, uh, specifically uh, um, those um, promoted by a group called Crime Think uh, in their book Days of, Days of War, Nights of Love. Uh, and I made a couple of films about that. Um, but you know, previous to my work at in the media, I was a, I was a club VJ. I, I would do visuals for raves and parties and clubs and whatnot, and uh, and so I had this uh, pretty visual mind. Uh, I like to do uh, things in a very creative ways. Um, so I started creating music videos um, that dealt with a number of different issues, from from the war in Iraq to Hurricane Katrina in uh, in, in New Orleans. And, and you know, th through the strength of uh, creating uh, those those videos, um, I was eventually hired to produce to be a TV producer for uh, Democracy Now, which I'm sure you all are very familiar with. After I left Democracy Now, I uh, wanted to do something similar to Democracy Now, but also that that utilized a lot of the the uh, the uh, creative visual uh, style that I, that I had gotten used to. And so I started a, a new show called It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine. And in that show, uh, I highlight movements of resistance, you know, people who are actually, you know, fighting the system uh, to create, you know, a better world. And, uh, but it's a, it's a show that's hosted by somebody who you'll meet later who is a very foul mouth person. Um, I don't know if you can even call him a person, um, but, uh, but that likes to curse at politicians and, and, uh, and make jokes and, uh, and show riot porn uh, uh, specifically. Speaking of dying plutocrats, legendary fuckfag Margaret Thatcher is set to kick the bucket any time now. Sources tell me that the aging butt snucky has lost her fucking marbles and when she finally bites the dust, there will be a massive party in the streets of London. Uh, and so I, I started that show at the end of 2006 and um, around the, mi the middle of 2008, uh, you know, there was this whole Obama mania happening and, and there were going to be protests in Denver and also protests against the Republicans in, uh, in uh, St. Paul during the, uh, the conventions, the party conventions. And I decided to take my show down there uh, and, to, and to cover uh, the street level protests that were happening or that were going to happen because uh, myself and most independent media makers knew that the mainstream media was just going to focus on the candidate and not on, on, on the candidates and not on the people who were on the ground protesting. Um, and in Denver is when I met uh, uh, the Rochester in the media crew, which is a little bit weird because uh, I felt like I, I was being stalked. But 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 you know I fell in love with these folks immediately. Like we totally hit it off, 
and, uh, and you know we, we basically did a loose collaboration not just uh, Rochester in the media but all people from in the media from all over the United States and Canada uh, in both conventions um, and what what we were able to achieve is to to provide daily reports daily video, video reports uh, from the protests from the police brutality from the arrests but also from the victories that, that were that were uh, gained uh, during those two protests. The mainstream media provides uh, one single narrative, and that's the narrative of, of, of industrial capitalism, the, 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 the narrative of, of, of transnational corporations, the narratives of the two-party system. And if it wasn't for independent media, uh, we would not know about these movements from the ground, like grassroots movements um, that, you know, and right now, uh, as I see it, uh, are being uh, culminated with this whole Occupy movement. When you look at what happened in 2011, uh, the media uh, all of a sudden was paying attention to the Occupy movement. Um, some people think that one of the reasons why they were doing that is because, you know, elements within the Democratic Party were uh, supporting Occupy. But once the Occupy movement basically told us people that no, you're, this is not about the Democratic Party and the Democratic Party support left, the media simply just stopped covering it. And anybody who, uh, who is looking at indie media right now understands that Occupy is not done, even though it's a media blackout uh, on, on that movement. Uh, and the same goes with many different things. Where I live in Canada, there's a huge indigenous movement uh, to stop uh, oil pipelines coming from the tar sands to the Pacific Ocean, and the media is mostly ignoring that. When you look at what's happening in, in, uh, in Quebec, in the streets of Quebec, and, and you live in the United States, you will see that the media is hardly covering that either. And so it's, it's, it's groups like Indie Media, like the Media Co-op in Canada, uh, like myself and like many other folks who are just basically volunteers. These are folks who don't make any money, who are just basically doing this because they, they understand that what's at stake is huge and that you know, the only reason we're going to get the word out is by creating this media. So I'm just going to basically close by saying that uh, I'm so inspired that in, in the Media Rochester has lasted for 10 years now they have a space, you know, but they also produce a TV show and they're, they're constantly, you know, covering local stories uh, that are important to the community. And, and now that they have a space, I think that uh, it's basically a way of, you know, setting down a flag and saying, like, we are here for the fucking long run. You know, we are not going anywhere. And this is going to be, you know, uh, you know, a multi-generational project. Um, so I, I want to say congratulations, Rochester in, media, in the media. I love you all. I really miss you. I hope that I can see you sometime this summer, but if not, in the near future. Um, I, I also want to say many thanks for, uh, for, for Rochester in the media coming to Vancouver and helping us cover the, uh, the anti-Olympic protest. Uh, that really meant a lot to me and to the folks from the Vancouver Media Co-op. So I want to say thanks again. Um, so th there's this guy who wants to say something and um, uh, really please excuse his language because he is uh, he's, re he's really foul mouth. So uh, hold on for a second. It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning slaves and welcome to the 10th anniversary of Rochester in the media. I just want to send many motherfucking buckets of love to the motherfucking video ninjas from the shit disturbing band of media saboteurs. Y'all are a constant source of inspiration to me and what y'all do inspire me to continue cursing of politicians and celebrate the movements of resistance that keep on fighting this bullshit system. Stay strong Rochester and remember the peeps from indie media have your back so support them with your bucks, time, vegan cookies or whatever the fuck else you can provide. Hasta la pasta, Rochester.